if you are a cutting tool manufacturer looking to diversify in the aerospace industry, then in this video, I have identified four amazing opportunities that every cutting tool manufacturer take advantage of. So in my research, I have found out that there are some opportunities that cutting tool manufacturers can take advantage of. First that I found was in solid carbide tooling. Now I read a quote of a tooling industry expert who supplies to aerospace industry. And he said that one of the best ways to handle challenging components is with solid carbide tooling with a trochoidal technique. The benefits of solid carbide tooling include long reach with a diameter to length ratio above 10 times the diameter. It provides more teeth in the cut and the ability to use more sophisticated tool parts is possible. He gave an example of a five axis trochoidal technique. Now, to be frank, I'm not a cutting tool expert. This is what I read somewhere and I thought I should share this with you, but it seems like a very important opportunity that cutting tool manufacturers can take advantage of if you are not doing that already. Second, I found out was diamond coated tools are gaining importance. It provides fantastic opportunity for cutting tool manufacturers. The main reason is that the diamond coated tools, they offer longevity, repeatability and predictability. So this means that the customers will exactly know when their cutting tool needs to be replaced. How long will the cutting tool last? And they can back calculate or predict their cost, their machining time, and maybe devise techniques to optimize this whole process. Apart from this, with materials like carbon fiber gaining importance in this industry, diamond coated tools are a preferred choice to cut the carbon fiber. Third opportunity is designing of multi-purpose tools. Aerospace component manufacturers, they are constantly looking ways to reduce machining time. So one way of doing this is what many people are doing is to have the same tool for multiple operations. So I can provide, I, or I found out two very good examples to elaborate this point. One was one shot drilling. So what this means is that the rough cutting as well as the surface finish in the drilling operation is done with the same tool, with the same drill. So this reduces the machine tool time and re it reduces the chances of scrapping as well since it is only one operation. Second example is there are some latest developments by some companies who make rotary cutting tools which are capable of drilling, milling, reaming, countersinking, tapping and trimming with the same tool. Now a fourth opportunity that in my opinion is very important is the regulation itself. Now the regulation is a main challenge in this industry but consider that you have gone through this process with a company and they have approved your product, they have approved your cutting tool and they are now a paying customer. Now in order to change their supplier, they will have to undergo the same paperwork or even more. They'll have to certify the new supplier that will take time, that will take their human resource, that will take time resource. So in my opinion, once you are, you gain acceptance or you gain the approval from one company, you can expect that customer is not going to go away in the short term. Another important point to note in this highly reg regulated industry is that once the part manufacturer gets approval from his customer of the part that he is going to manufacture, that part is not going to change much over time. So the, the material that he is going to use is not going to change. The design of the part is not going to change. So this means once you get approval from one customer, it will be detrimental for him to change his supplier. So that is an advantage for you. And second, the tool that you design, even if it is a customized tool, that tool will be designed for that particular component, which will not change over time or it, it will not change immediately. So these were the four or the top four opportunities that I could find out from my research in the aerospace industry. I hope this video was helpful for you.
please share your experience your interesting stories if you have them or your opinion regarding the aerospace industry in the comments below thank you